And during this pandemic, something else that's been devastated has been the theater. And while Broadway is not expected to open up until at least June of next year, some local theaters are starting to ramp up for some live local performances shortly. Kimberly Speakman tonight with a story that's new at nine. The pandemic has made it tough for theaters to pay the bills, but they're hoping their creative minds will help turn things around. At Diamond Head Theater, drive-in performances have helped to keep ticket sales going, but they're hoping to bring the crowds indoors. Going forward, we're doing what we're calling a pandemic adapted performance series, and we're doing show by show because we just never know what tier we're going to be in, how many people we're going to be able to have in the theater. Their Christmas show will be opening on December 4th with limited seating. 113 people will be allowed in, a fraction of their full capacity of 475. So we're doing groups of two, so people have to sit in pairs, and we're socially distancing, and then we're doing about 25% of our capacity. For other theaters, they're hoping to attract guests with virtual performances. Hawaii Theater is planning a 2021 lineup that includes the Beach Boys and Las Vegas act Piff the Magic Dragon. All sorts of in incredible programs that we now are in the process of converting to an, nearly an all-digital format. Don tells me they're also hoping to bring these acts to an in-person crowd. It just depends on where the city restrictions are. Meanwhile, Manoa Valley Theater is also going the digital route, showing live music, comedy, plays, and musicals on their website. I think we'd probably start out with what they call a remote broadcast, which is done on a, a platform similar to this, similar to Zoom. Wilburn says they don't expect to have in-person shows until at least September of next year. For now, he's asking the community for its support. For that time that you're sitting in that seat watching that performance, that's your whole world. And we're going to need a lot of that. So support the arts. Kimberly Speakman, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.